my theme park was it and in today's video we're gonna take a nice little tour of dreamworks land thanks to bio reconstruct who uh went on the ground and took some awesome thematic photos i figured since we did a whole bunch of construction updates which bio reconstruct filmed from the air let's go take a look at the thematic elements from the ground will be our last and final dreamworks dreamworks land update or which will function more of a grand tour the land is in soft openings now and officially opens june 14th so first we're going to take a look at some elements of the poppy's playground area this is that big uh mushroom umbrella type of area that i thought was going to be uh, for a small flat ride that turned out to be for a uh, called a uh, playground called poppy's playground that is for children two and under you have nice little some nice little elements here you have this like onion thing to crawl or sit in and then you also have this worm this orange and yellow worm here that uh, i'm sure I, again i have not seen the trolls franchise so i'm not sure what these characters are but some very playful creatures that should be great for the little ones and some nice big shaded areas and do you mind benches surround this whole area this whole playground for families and they'll sit on as well here's a flower with the um little smiley face or not really smiley face and that's face with four teeth mouth of four teeth and again here is that top of that playground structure with some vines hanging out of this must be some type of uh, again tree or leaf or mushroom or some something along the likes but definitely has a resemblance of a flat ride which definitely duped us there and here are um poppy and um another character from the trolls franchise hanging out on a branch right here Here's the boombox themed troll streets in all its glory. It has all the buttons of a boombox and I'm sure uh, and a digital screen which I'm sure flashes the menu at times. And you have the win uh, order and pickup windows to the right and left hand side where the speakers would be on the actual boombox. Finally in the trolls area, here's the entrance, the attraction entrance to the troller, trolls troller coaster. The wait time board plus at five minutes. It's not a digital wait time board so I'm not sure if one will be activated by the grand opening or if this is the permanent wait time board i don't think it is because it's just on an a-frame but pretty interesting there i still don't not a big fan of the 2d cutouts there I'd rather than be 3d figures even better animatronics but they have the whole trolls family on this side and then on the her hair the, the furthermore the furthermost right troll has a that's her hair and it forms an arch and then on the other side of the arch is more of the trolls family next up we're going to explore the central area of dreamworks land which i refer to as the central park and i didn't know what then really belong to a specific neighborhood or franchise which kind of they call it the central park of Dream, dreamworks land you can see these nice shade uh shade trees here or, or shade plants which look pretty good uh, along with real trees which provide a nice amount of shade for the area Here's the High Five Hideaway, which is the land's main gift shop here. I believe that Cloud is, I don't know if that's a troll from Trolls or just the generic dream where it's Cloud, but yes, the High Five Hideaway is part of the uh, the main gift shop for the land there. And then at the back of this, of the main theater building, we have a beautiful, beautiful mural with a whole bunch of DreamWorks representation here. There's Hiccup and Poop Toothless from How to Train the Dragon, Panda in Cloud form. Then if you move along, you can see the Trolls characters called Panda and Shrek, Boss Baby, and some other franchises um, like the Bad Guys over there. He's in at the DreamWorks Theater, and there's even a uh, oh my goodness, uh, the, the, the Gingerbread Man. <laughs> down below but this is actually a really beautiful mural and paints everyone in the clouds i really 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 like that as well and lastly uh puss the boots characters are painted on the furthermost furthermost left portion of this mural the mama luna experience and a lot of us were uh, wondering what was going on there and i told you it's gonna be an interactive screen feature so fire we can try to provide a great example of what this looks like so i guess there's these cats on a screen and there's uh, you have to like pick pick out a cat um that's kind of what's going on there but yeah this is basically my experience is all on some very fancy digital screens and i'm sure it's nice and fun for the children next we're going to move into what i move on to what i think is the second best uh area of this land and that's the kung fu panda area or aka okay, okay, pose training camp pose kung fu training camp here is the main archway for that it's very 
Chinese bear Asian spider, which is fantastic. And we're gonna move on over. There's Mr. Ping dumping his noodles. There's no Mr. Ping animatronic or Mr. Ping's noodle shop, unfortunately, but we do have Mr. Ping of the dumping his noodles on everyone as he uh, makes food. Here's that interactive bong. Um, you can hit it or you press a button and then some crazy, some other song uh, makes crazy good sounds. And there's that interactive gong plus some of the other features of the plant and water feature, which has not been turned on yet. Still in soft opening, but that will eventually be a water feature uh, where you'll help Ho do some laundry. And we'll get more to that a little bit later. So here, more of the laundry activity. It's a, a, play, a playground. It's a playground here. It's a super nice big bucket and a whole bunch of 2D looking clothes. Okay. Water, the children is washing his clothes. Then in this section, it'll be dry, help him dry his clothes. And there's some inter interactive features there. Um, it has his clothes go and dry, which would be cool. And there's even looks like some potential water cannons on the other side of that, which would be good for the kids splashing other kids. And there's a whole lookout of the area, along with some very real trash cans, uh, a psycho bin, as well as a trash can over there. And Again, I'm not a big fan of that 2D cutout of Poe over there, that are both of them. There's two pandas, I don't know if they're both Poe. So there's two pandas over there um, by the water bucket, and they're both cardboard cutouts of each other. Uh, not the biggest look, I would have preferred either a static figure, animatronic, or just a 3D, something 3D over there. Here is the water in action over here. Um, that's part of the water play, play, play area, and even got the lily pads, or some leaves over there. There are often like showers that they're dropping water on everybody, which is very cool. This is the pond of perpetual wetness. And these leaves are. These so run around and uh, get drenched on a hot summer day, which in June, it was already hot in Florida now, up to like 100 degrees um, in some parts. And in June, it'll be even hotter. So this would be packed with kids, but I'm sure even adults if they're allowed to as well. Here is a nice little uh, feature, little playground feature in the Kung Fu Panda area. It looks like you assume you sit on the bench, and or I don't know if you sit or you just run around and try to spin that thing, but it looks pretty, pretty enticing as well. Last but not least in the Kung Fu Panda area, I want to point out these very cool benches. I love them. And they look like very Asian-inspired benches with that Asian architecture. I love that whole Asian-Japanese. Chinese architecture and Korean, that whole, that whole, it's a, a whole vibe. I love their style of architecture, old and new over there. Really cool. And the theming has been put to the benches as well. Last but not least, we're gonna move on to my favorite area, Shrek. Here is the finished uh, Swex, Swex, Shrek Swamp Meat Breed Air. Uh, we can meet Don, Donkey, Fiona, and Shrek. Here is the King Harold area. It's again a water play area for kids. And this is where you jump on the lily, lily pads and we'll make some musical chorus. Now, King Harold himself is not painted a color. And all the other flag frogs are painted a shade of a color. But I wonder if King Harold's going to get painted later or if he just will remain looking stone gray. I hope I hope he's get him because I expect him to be green, but. We'll see. Maybe that's again still in soft roping, so we'll see what happens on June 14th. But as of now, he is not painted. Here's a better look at him. Yeah, not uh, not painted yet. I feel like he, that is. I don't know if that's. I don't know. I feel like that's a design. I don't know. Come below. Do you think he should be painted green? Because right now it looks just kind of stone cold, literally. Here is the Shrek Swamp Play Area, which is cool. This is a netted fence that you can use to get from one side to the other. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty daring here. Now, you know, it might scare little children, but it's also, for the older children, it can be pretty adventurous and pretty fun. And here is the Shrek's fart slide. And I say the Shrek fart slide because if you've seen videos online, when you go down the slide, it actually makes a fart noise. And here's the landing to that slide. Very thematic and very woodsy as well. Pinocchio makes an appearance in the land as well. Just like we have Pinocchio here in Hollywood, they have now Pinocchio over there, but in the official in the official land, he's in the treehouse. I think he actually makes some noises and talks to you. As if you push a button, which is pretty cool, our Pinocchio does not do that here. It's not an animatronic, but it's more of like a push button. Some audio comes out. It's very, very fun. Here's a suck swamp for little ogres. Uh, meet and greet, or not meet and greet, but marquee sign uh, and that is the entrance to the landing that includes 
of course, Shrek Pony, and there's three little children, which is very cool. Here's a themed sign saying, feet first, please, one little ogre at a time. That's right, don't go down the slide uh, more than once, because you don't want to go and bang somebody's head when you run. More themed signs for the little mice, and caution, for maybe wet is probably around one of the little play areas, um, which is good. good. And then, one very cool theme sign saying, beware, ogre. Same sign you see, same sign, same sign you see in the movie when they go ahead and hit into Shrek Swamp. So, pretty cool stuff. And that is going to do it for this nice tour of the DreamWorks hand. Thank you to Bio Construct again for providing those aerial photos over the past year for this and all the other construction projects, projects in Orlando, specifically Universal and Disney. And can't wait for those epic universe updates. We have another one coming, so make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. If you want to help support the channel even more, you can become a Patreon member. I have some exclusive stuff on there from Universal and Disney. Permanent information, rumors that um, join in. I'll tell you all and follow all my socials in the links below. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff. And if you really want to support the channel, you can right now leave a comment or just click the super thanks button down there. And you can donate any amount of money you like um, to help support the channel. Other than that, Press that thumbs up, share, subscribe, and have a ogre day.